Today's build, it's the ultimate storytelling challenge. As you can tell, we have the little outline of a theatre here. Of course, in theatrical terms, this frame here, does anyone know what this is called? Proscenium arch. Persona, persona renium, isn't it? What is it? Proscenium arch. Proscenium, yeah. That's what, what did I say? Proscenium. The same, yeah. You said that, yeah. <laughs> Don't you know the Don't history know. of it? Like, I've done work. a lot of stuff in theatre, so I know what it's called, you know? It's a proscenium arch, of course. That is the classic framing of the theatre because that's where great stories get told. Now, it's not so much a theatrical challenge today. It is a storytelling challenge. It's a storytelling challenge, though, not in a single part. Have a look. It is a three-part storytelling challenge. Ooh. You have got a beginning, a middle, and an end. A classic three-act structure. What is going on, how you depict it, where it's set, that, of course, is all up to you. This is cool. I think this is the best theme I've done. Brickman, what does the winning build look like in this one? Of course, all throughout LEGO Masters, every lesson that you've learned has been bringing you up to something. This is the culmination of your storytelling abilities. I don't necessarily want you to think about a theatre per se, even though it's set as this, nor a movie. It is a story just told with a beginning, a middle and an ending. It's as simple as that. Justin Henry, you guys are safe from elimination. You have the titanium brick. That leaves four teams who could potentially be eliminated. We will lose one team today as we head into finals week. To build your three scene story, you have got 12 hours. God. 12 hours, three scenes, five teams, two of us, Two thumbs up. Can't wait to see what you build. Go for it, guys. Justin Henry. You have the titanium brick. So there's no stakes as far as elimination goes for us, but we're still nervous to hear what Brickman says because we want to feel like we've earned our place in finals week, even with the immunity. So, here we see the birth of an Allosaurus. We've done an egg that's hatched. He's a big bully. They're quite large. They are. They can yeah. go up to 8.5 metres. There you have it. Yeah. Scaring um, off all the little dinos. Yeah, he's a bit of a tyrant. And got his just desserts. <laughs> Did, yeah. What's left of him that's been dug up and put in a museum millions of years later. So, first scene here, when you saw that egg with the eye on it piece in the brick pit, have you been waiting to use that for, for a reason? Uh, yeah, I thought about using it for, like, an egg for something for a while, but, yeah, dinosaurs just... It really, really just well. looks like a dinosaur egg. The second scene really sets up the joke or the punchline of the third scene. And I love the little dinosaurs, too. I think, I think they're awesome. Uh, little Easter egg. The pictures on the wall, Hamish. They're from I scene one that. and scene two. I really, I really like that Easter egg. I think that's really clever. You know, it's funny, that's, that's Polish. The jumpers and the clothes that they were wearing, they're, they're, it's like they're, I mean, I love going to the museum. Maybe it's a reflection on me, but they're wearing cardigans and jumpers and... You never catch me wearing a nerdy woolen jumper. <laughs> but I appreciate seeing them in there. I think this is absolutely fantastic. I'm, I, I think it's wonderful. Well done, Gus. Caleb and Alex, let's take a look. With our story, I'm feeling confident that the story reads really clear and has the emotion that we're going for. Our childhood buddies. Will you talk us through it? The first scene is two best mates, red and blue, and they're playing their, their pilot, their jet game. Then they grow up and they become 
best mates and pilots together living the life. They did it. Dream come true for everyone involved. Yeah. Till the very end, where oh. Red Man, yeah, it's no longer didn't no make longer it with us. Yeah. Well, you made us all cry, guys. So <laughs> you're out. <laughs> All right, well, let's go to a happier place. Let's, let's go to a much happier place. <laughs> the subtle things in this scene that make me really appreciate what's going on are all the little plane necessities. The picture, on the, the toys, on the, it, it really reinforces that these two kids are way into planes. Like, it's their thing that they're totally and absolutely into. On to the second scene. Now, I can almost even see this picture if we were to if we were to forget for a moment that this is you know a theatre setting. I can almost picture this as a picture on the wall. Mm. The family, you know, the photo of the you know here yeah, we that's are. That's exactly helmets. what we're trying to go for. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Fantastic. Of course. Then I really like that that sunset. I think it adds a lot to the scene of what's happening. It really does. It's blended well, and it it really sets off the the feeling that that poor poor pilot's going through. I think you should be really proud of this Lego model. Yeah. I think you really went out of your comfort zone a lot in this model. Yeah. Well done, guys. Thank you, Rick Thanks. Quietly confident that we've done enough to secure a place in the finals. If not, for whatever reason, we're really proud of the build that we did make today. Nick and Jean, come on. We have Act 1 and 2 that we're really happy with, but we hope that the last scene, you understand what's going on, you know, you understand the moment that they're sharing. So in your words, like in your take, take us through the story. What are you hoping to convey? The first act is a little boy, the first snowfall of winter. He makes a snowman, he makes his new friend. And then he sort of either comes to life for real or maybe in the kid's imagination but they have the time of their life all through winter. And then come spring, unfortunately, you know, all good things have to come to an end. A bittersweet ending, a snowman is a little bit droopy. Lego, as you know, it has some sort of sense of humour to it. Minifigures are very funny, they have this thing to them. So you've decided to bypass that whole thing and go with something a little bit more, a poignant moment, if you like. I'll go straight to the third one. We'll come back to the second one in a moment. What you're able to do is not show the characters' faces because their faces in that moment are really powerful and important. It's actually more powerful not to show their faces, to have them looking at each other. And the way you've got the snowman to tilt down, to look into, you know, it's... Yeah, there's, there's definitely a connection there and it's something we can feel. There's a trait to your Lego models. There's a habit forming. It's polish. The way the skies blend in, the fact that there's snow, even the scale of the trees in this, I think, is absolutely fantastic. You should be really proud of yourselves. Thank what you on, guys? Thank, thank, you. thank you so much. In terms of feedback, it's it was entirely positive. It was yeah. some of the best feedback we've gotten in the competition. All right, everyone. Well, we know that this build was the culmination of a lot of skills. Ultimately, to tell a story in three scenes, using a lot of techniques and tricks picked up in previous builds. This build was also about making it into finals week. Only four teams can go through to finals week. We have five here. We know we're losing a team. We know it won't be Henry and Joss. You guys have the titanium brick that has secured you your spot in finals week. You guys can come and stand over here. You are the first team through to finals week. Well done, guys. You're through. Which leaves our four, Brickman. Who is the first team joining these boys in finals week? So the first team joining Joss and Henry in finals week is... Congratulations, Caleb and Alex. All right. Best team. It is an absolute joy to be going to finals with, with Alex. It's the amount of fun that we've had together. It's really cool to go to this with you. 
Oh. So the second team joining Joss and Henry in finals week. Well done, Nick and Jean. Wouldn't be finals week without you. Making finals week is an unbelievable, crazy dream. Yeah. I mean, just thinking back about our first build, that was a big mess. <laughs> <laughs>